touch the propeller? Yeah. Look at the propeller right here. He flew a lot of different planes in World War II. Uh, P-47, he flew P-47D, um, P-47G, and the P-47N, which is his favorite, but it's hard to find. <laughs> um, and he has always remembered his airplanes. Uh, he's losing his memory, he's got dementia, but he remembers the war and he remembers his airplanes. And when I found out you guys were gonna be here, I had to bring him, I just had to bring him. He's dancing, he's dancing around now. He's doing great. I think he was thinking he was going to get to get in it and fly it. <laughs> but, uh, of course, he can't fly it, but he got to touch it. And I watched it, the excitement that he had just getting to touch the plane again that he flew back then. There's a lot of pride because he did do that. Um, and he followed it up. It, it wasn't just a, okay, I, I'm in the war. He joined the uh, Air National Guard until he retired in his 60s. And uh, his big thing has always been the military. I happened to bring some pictures in the log book and everybody wants to see his log book, which tells he, he was uh, stationed over at uh, Iwo Shima. And uh, it, shows some of the bombing flights he went on and firefights. So it's, it's quite a bit of history to see this is where he was and this is what he flew. And he flew a lot of planes, but the P-47 has always been his plane. There's a Thunderbolt patch right there. How's that? You know, this, yeah. this is what we're about. We're about the, we're about the past, <laughs> the present, and the future of the Air Force. We appreciate your service. Oh. Yes, sir. The war has always been separate from her. This young lady over here spent 67 years yeah, with the fighter pilot. To know that she also got honored for this and for putting up with him or whatever. It's just a family affair. We appreciate everything that everybody's done for us today.